July 1st marked a major breakthrough in college sports. The NCAA adopted a policy allowing athletes to profit from their name, image, and likeness. 24 states have passed their own NIL laws, as they're called, with several states working on similar legislation. Critics say student athletes are being compensated appropriately as amateur players, but coaches, students, and legislators, among others, have argued these new laws are, well, they're just plain fair. Joining us now with his perspective on the new rules is NFL Hall of Famer Terrell Owens. T.O., it's great to have you. Uh, we all knew this was coming. Uh, it was just a matter of time. Now that it's here, though, are you okay with it? You like it? Uh, absolutely. Uh, you think about the number of years and uh, that so many you know, colleges, universities have really kind of profited on the names and images and likeness of all these players all these years. Um, you think about especially some of the top guys and even some of the guys not on the, you know, really a, a big part of, of the team um, that they've capitalized on. So I think this law here kind of puts these kids in a position not only to help themselves, uh, but in, I think, the, the ability to be able to learn how to go out and market themselves, negotiate deals here and there. And so they get to understand what that's like to, to be able to be their own boss. Are you worried at all, T.O., about where it's going, especially recruiting? The one thing we hear a lot about is that, and, and it could become basically a money game now. I mean, you've got a lot of big schools with a lot of big boosters, and you've got a senior from high school coming in, and they say, hey, we'll give you an endorsement for this, and off we go. I mean, we're already seeing it in some universities. These numbers are going to be huge. Well, I mean, there's, there's always going to be the what-ifs and uh, – uh, a lot of the negative that comes with it. And I think as this thing rolls out, I think uh, they'll have a better idea to how to of how to manage these types of situations. And again, like I said, some of these kids, again, they're going to be able to enter the, the world of uh, what they're going to be entering to entering once they leave college. So uh, with everything, there's going to be some ups and downs. You're going to kind of have to filter out and figure out how to manage these types of situations. Mm -hmm. And I think um, it'll, it'll iron itself out um, as, it, as, it, as it progresses. Let's talk about your life after the NFL. You're, you're in the wine business now. I understand you weren't necessarily a big wine drinker. Tell us how that started. Well, uh, obviously, I think uh, a lot of things shifted. A lot of people pivoted once the pandemic hit. And so uh, I'm no different than anybody else trying to figure out, okay, what's next? And so I became, I, I came on this opportunity uh, through a mutual friend. I have a marketing agent, and he's a mutual friend of Tommy Lasorda. Right. Uh, God rest his soul. Uh, he just passed recently. Mm -hmm. And so uh, they wanted to basically figure out uh, how they can collaborate with a particular athlete. They had a number of people on their list. I was one of those guys. And so, um, again, I'm a fan of anything that is bold as I am. And so when you think <laughs> of Cabernet's, uh, it's big, bold, uh, and it's known for being dry. Um, I don't really associate myself with the dry part. Um, but again, right. this was a great opportunity, <laughs> and uh, it's, it's been very, very uh, intriguing, uh, very, very, uh, and I've become very knowledgeable about the process uh, as I've learned more and more about it. But again, if you have a, a, a palate for, for, for reds, especially mm -hmm. plum preserves, dark chocolate, uh, spicy mm -hmm. toasted oak, and uh, kind of some cinnamon stick aromas, Look My Wine 81 is, is definitely for you. Look at you. So that is the label. It's beautiful, by the way, 81, which is your number, of course. And it's also a nod to, to Kobe Bryant, which is interesting. Another part of this story, too. Absolutely. Too. Absolutely. Uh, Kobe and I were, were good friends. And so uh, as he was with so many uh, of people that he's come across. And so, um, again, obviously with what he's done and what he did with his career, uh, I was a fan of his. He was a fan of mine. And so I thought it was only – only fitting, um, especially understanding that he had a he had a shoe collection, and I think it was kind of you know derived around you know wine and vino, and so right. uh, around this time, like I said, we all miss Kobe dearly, and so I just wanted to obviously you know pay a little homage you know yeah. toward toward uh, toward he and what his uh, he's done, and obviously his family and what they're enduring right now. So yeah, I mean I've been a fan of Kobe, and so definitely I I was very instrumental in in the entire process, even from the tasting notes, talking to the winemaker. Uh, Terry Colton, who, who basically he he, uh, he helped with uh, the Lasorda family wines, right? And so obviously, even from the aesthetics of the bottle, yeah, um, I was very very uh, dialed in with it. All right, hey, uh, by to the night time, we're going to ask you to join along. There's some video of you we found on Twitter that was recently posted. You were at Deion Sanders' camp for high school and JC players, and uh, based on this video, which is getting a lot of play, uh, you've still got it, my man. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, I, I, I don't think I ever lost it. Uh, it <laughs> there just, you go. Uh, uh, I just, honestly, like I said, it's just a matter of me, you know, having the opportunity to end my career uh, the way that I wanted to. Uh, I really always felt that I still had the ability to play. And so, again, like I said, I was just basically just out there, really just in support of Dion mm -hmm. uh, and what he's doing for those kids at that HBCU school, Jackson State, and just for a lot of kids uh, across the country um, that need and want an opportunity to right. play football. They can go to Jackson State University. Um, they definitely are dialed mm -hmm. in. They have all the resources right. there to become successful student athletes. Hey, it's great to have you, T.O. I love that picture behind you. Next time we'll talk about your favorite touchdown celebrations. Thanks for your time.